Hi, this is Mandy Shoptaw with Come On To My House, and I'm joining you today from my front porch. You know, we're in between that weird time in Arkansas where one day it'll feel like summer and the next day it feels like fall. And fall is my absolute favorite season here in our state. And I start to think about pumpkins and decorating for Halloween, and that really got me to thinking this year about our little neighbors and how Halloween may be a lot different for them this year. So I thought it might be a great idea to share a craft that allows us to spread some Halloween joy. First you'll want to spray paint your canvases and I like to do this outside on a drop cloth and make even coats of paint until the canvases are completely covered on the top and the sides. And when they dry you may need to add a second coat of paint. And it should go without saying, but I'll say it anyway, use spray paint in a well-ventilated area, outside preferred. Now, back inside, you're gonna use some cardstock and cut out a pattern and trace that onto colored paper. One of my favorite cutout designs is this candy corn, but you could do pumpkins or anything that you dream up. And if you're feeling meh creatively, well, you know, just look online for some simple Halloween or fall designs, print them out and trace them. To mount the cutouts on the canvas, I use Mod Podge. I like the glossy kind that dries transparent. Just use a paintbrush and paste the cutout design onto the canvas and then carefully Mod Podge over the entire canvas to secure and seal it. And don't forget the edges of your cutout. You may need to give them a little extra attention so that they don't peel up. Give the canvases about a day or so to dry. Returning to the project, I attach ribbon with a staple gun and I want you to note that there's that extra length at the top so that this can be used as a door hanging. To wrap up the boo, just attach a note on the back using hot glue. I'll put a few designs on my blog, but you can go online. There are tons out there. Last, add the boo badge along with a baggie of treats and staple it to the back of the canvas. The boo badge should be displayed in the window near the door to let people know that this house has been booed. It's no fun if everyone boos the same family, right? So spread around the cheer. All right, so here are a few questions that I get about this project. First of all, do I have to use the same size canvas that you did? Absolutely not. Use whatever canvas you want, but the 10 by 10s do work really well. Um, can I print my design on an inkjet and Mod Podge it? Sure, maybe. Uh, personally, when I've done that, it, the ink ends up getting wet and kind of smearing. So trial and error, just, you know, give it a try. Um, what about a vinyl cutter? Hey, if you've got a vinyl cutter, you're awesome and you can take this project to the next level. I would love to see that. Um, what if I get booed twice? Then you have more Halloween fun to share. That means that you will be booing lots of other people. Um, what if I don't have time to do an elaborate boo? Okay, no worries. You can just fill a baggie with candy and put the notes in there. You can go to the dollar bin at a local store or and buy something pre-made. I, I saw little headbands and bracelets and all kinds of cute things. Um, or you can put them in like a little cup, you know, just whatever is easy for you. So I hope that these ideas help you to have a beautiful Halloween and celebrate with your friends and neighbors.